Hello everyone, welcome to Offensive Security by Beaver Academy. I hope you are doing well. I am excited to meet you all and present another video. Today I will demonstrate how to embed malicious exe into any legitimate exe and gain the backdoor access like a hacker. This ethical hacking video will provide a valuable insight and guide you through the best practices to enhance your knowledge. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Disclaimer. This video is purely for education and information purpose. I don't encourage any malicious or harmful activity. I'm not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video. You are solely responsible for your action and will use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Please note that unauthorization hacking or accessing other system or network is strictly prohibited and illegal. Even this video demonstrated ethically hackable practice in my lab environment. So this is a tool we are going to use uh, to hide our malicious exe into a legitimate exes. So in this example, I am just going to use a putty. So putty is a famously it's used for uh, any IT support industries and any core industries technologies for so taking a remote and SSH and everything. So I am just is a very easy. So I am just going to take a putty. Uh, currently this uh, tool actually giving a only supported 32 bit application only. So currently they are supporting only 32 bit application. So you can pick any legitimate exe but it should be a 32 bit app so please ensure otherwise if it is 64 bit it's not going to work so currently it is support only 32 bit only all there so the installation i'll giving the link in the description uh, so you can go and uh, download it uh, so the installation is very simple you just need to open a terminal and uh, add the architecture as it's basically 32 architecture and you have to install wine 32 basically wine 32 is something the application which help to run the exe in a linux environment so since we are going to uh, embedded uh, malicious exe into legitimate exe so for decompiling and again compiling and adding the p headers and everything so we need a wine windows environment so for that the only purpose we are just installing wine 32 after that you just once you are configured everything you just need to run this command sudo apt install shutter then automatically this will be installed it in your kali linux so i have already did that everything part so feel free to do in case if you are stuck somewhere else if you have any questions feel free to comment in the session so that i can reply back it so launching is very simple just i need to go and create a shelter so this will what will create it uh, it will create a wine environment uh, workspace and in a minute it will be a shelter will be uh, launching it so if you see that the app is launched so it comes with the two mode one is auto mode and manual mode so i'm just going with the auto mode so here it is asking for the PE target. So here we have to give our legitimate one. So I have already downloaded a putty. Uh, maybe I'll be giving the link in the description for putty link as well. If you wanted, you can go and download it. 32 bit, you have to download it. So I have saved the in the path. It uh, for me, it this is the path. For you, it will be changed. So I have already downloaded. Let's go and home Kali shelter putty.exe. So first of all, what it will do, it will take a backup of the existing one so that in case something is got, so it will see for what is the supported version. It's just going with a pre-flight check and if it everything signatures and it's just going with it, uh, first of all, then after that it is creating a DLL uh, for that. So now it is asking to enable the shelf mode. So I'm just asking, giving yes, yes, I want to add the shelf mode. So click enter. And it is giving me option to create what kind of payload. So all the options are there or it comes with again custom. In case if you are want to create, a, if you are using a custom payload, you can go with option C. But ensure you are just using a payload in a raw format using MSF console Venom. You can create a, a backdoor of using in a raw format or you can use any other techniques to create a but ensure the payload whatever you are creating in the raw format but uh, for this demonstration i'm just going with the inbuilt solution so it will be easier for the uh, beginners so i'm just to keep it in that mind i'm just going with the uh, basics so first one is i'm just going to local which is already listed one so i'm just keeping as a l option so it will list all the things so now i have to select the index so in my case i'm just going to create a backdoor one so first one is i'm just going with option one 
metaprater reverse shell tcp so stage one i'm just giving and I, here i have to give the l host so in my case l host is uh, cali machine ip address so which is 10.0.2.24 uh, in your case, the IP will change for you. Just go uh, go to the terminal, open new tab, just type if config so that you can get the IP address of your Kali. Okay. In case if you are using ng-rock or reverse port reasoning or something else, you can uh, add that as well. Okay. So let me go and uh, enter it. So L port, it can be anything. For here, I'm just giving 123. Uh, that is the port number I'm just giving. You can give any port number, whatever you are comfortable, or you can use a legitimate port as well, what you wish it. So click enter. Now the payload is getting ready. It is just compiling and generating. And uh, in a minute, the payload will be uh, ready. So if you see that the payload is ready, just enter it. So let me start the listener before executing the backdoor in a Windows environment. Sorry, MSF console, hyphen R and listener automatically. This will create a listener for it. So every time I no need to do it. Uh, it's easy. It makes the penetration testing or ethical hacking in a automation very simple. So only thing is you just need to every time you need to run the script so that automatically it will load the MSF console. Uh, it load the multi handler. It load the payload and uh, the it set the L host automatically port number and followed by it will execute it and listener will be ready so just it's it's starting so we will see if you see that uh, it is just loading all the things okay so the listener is actually ready now what i'll be doing is let me go and execute the uh, putty payload which is we uh, embedded the malicious payload and execute right so it says that the company name who created file descriptions everything looks neat and legitimate it doesn't there is no suspicious even the defender is on and when i download it it's not blocked it's not uh, blocked from the edges prospect so everything looks great so when i execute this one it feel that i just opened a putty so nothing suspicious right so as a anyone was user it sees that he just opened a putty session and then he can create a host name and whatever he will be just normal he will be going to the daily usages but let's go and see what has happened in the backdoor so if you see that a backdoor connection is opened it so a victim has just opened the party session but uh, in a cali side in a hacker side a backdoor is open so let me go and try to see system information so i can see that there is a windows and all the things are there so let me take a screenshot and as a proof of concept and let me go to this path folder and uh, this is a file so you can see that it's nothing here uh, so just the same image as took the here and uh, hacker got the connection back i can do anything hacker can do anything here he can do a stream thing so successfully we have got the backdoor access so it's a simple technique uh, it's a basically a stenographic technique but it's uh, end of the day we just successfully hacked the window machine by embedding the malicious exe into a putty or you can use any agement exes over there thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session i hope you found the content informative if you enjoyed this video and if you are interested in viewing more content like this, please let me know in the comment below. Your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming videos. Also feel free to share this video with others who might find it interesting. If you have any questions or need further clarification about anything shown in this video, don't hesitate to reach out to me via Discord. Lastly, a big thank to all my subscribers. Your engagement keeps me motivated to create more valuable content for you. Stay safe, stay curious. See you soon with another interesting video. Bye for now. Take care.